Hey guys, John Thompson, Spring Fr Framework Guru. So today I was working on a module for my Spring Core course. I want to show you something pretty cool within Spring Boot. So one of the things that Spring Boot will do for us, it will create sensible defaults when we add Maven jars and, and dependencies to Maven. So in the module I was working on, I'm, I'm working on a, a module to explain to my students how to use JPA within the Spring Framework. And to do so, we're adding in uh, the dependency for Spring Data JPA and also the H2 database. But I want to show you something that's real cool cool here within Spring Boot. So we're going to take a look. What I've done here is I have the Spring Boot application. This is the, the main context. And when we run the Spring application, we can get the context back. And I'm going to grab a hold of context. I'm going to get a list of the bean definition names. I'm just going to do a system out of those. And then I'm also going to get a bean count at the end here. So let me run this real quick. I'll show you the, the bean count. Now we can see Spring Boot is starting up. We're bringing up Tomcat. It's doing all the mapping. And we can see that we went through a list, list and I have 119 beans to find in the current configuration. And so we can see there's a variety of beans that have been created. I do have Time Leaf and Spring MVC, so we're seeing like things like Jackson and stuff being created for us. And that's stuff that Spring Boot's already automatically configuring for us. Now I'm going to jump over to my Maven Palm. And I've commented out the dependencies. I'm going to uncomment these and tell IntelliJ to import them. The first dependency is for Spring Boot Starter Data JPA. That'll bring in all the dependencies we need for Spring Data and Spring Data JPA. The next dependency is the H2 database. Now, Spring, Spring Boot is going to configure itself in a certain way because these are there. And let me prove that to you. I'm going to restart this. Now, notice that we have 119 here now. I'm going to restart this. And all I've done is added in two Maven dependencies. And we're back up. We have 174 beans. So it, we went from 119 beans to 174 beans. And those beans, extra beans, are created by Spring Boot for us using sensible defaults. So it's creating a default in memory H2 database for us. It's creating an entity manager. It's doing all the stuff for Hibernate. It's defaulting some properties for Hibernate for us. So it's making all these sensible faults for us. So this allows us to do some rapid application development. And Spring Boot is going to make sensible defaults for us. And if we ever need to, we can override those just by creating those. And Spring Boot won't, won't create that bean anymore because it's already there. But if we don't define it, it's going to fall back to do, using those sensible defaults. So I wanted to give you this quick example to show you how just by adding dependencies in on the, the Maven, or if you happen to be using Gradle, if Spring Boot detects those dependencies on the class path, it's going to create those beans for us.